Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Master on Tech channel. Now I know we've just about all seen these little astronaut dudes across the internet. They're little galaxy projectors and just, they have a swiveling head and all that fun stuff. Magnetic, real fun. Well, I got two of these sent over to me to check out for review. So without further ado, go ahead and see just what all these little guys can do. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check this little dude out. So this is the astronaut starry sky project. You've probably seen these around the internet, social media, Instagram, TikTok. Honestly, pretty nice. Uh, they do have on the side, they do have the energy ratings area and what their rankings are, kind of how much electricity that they use. And of course, we have the specifications, dimensions, and all that good stuff. On the other side, we do have what it comes with. It has a remote control, adjustable projection, timing, and star. So nothing too crazy with that, but we will go into more in depth with what comes in it. Let's go ahead and take this guy out of the box. I was able to get sent over a black and white variant. And you'll be seeing things of that nature pop up between both models and the detail that comes with that. But inside the box, we've got the little astronaut dude. We've got his stand. We do have a couple extra little goodies at the bottom. The all-in-port remote, plus a cable, and the inspection sticker. The inspection sticker here just shows that it passed QA and that it has someone has put their hands on it to check it. We do have the user manual itself. It's not my favorite design. You know, it's a little tiny roadmap, so the good news is it's not one of those forever long ones. Not a whole lot of information to go over here. It does have the remote control and what everything does, which is awesome. And then it also has what each thing does. Now it's time to check out the remote. It does take two AAA batteries. And it comes with the USB to barrel jack. Now this is the fun part. It's the little stand. It's so cute, and it's just like a little moon landing piece, and you just put the little dude's feet in there. Do have a nice protective film on the astronaut himself, so if you like a good peel, you'll be able to do that. On the back, you have three buttons. You have the on button that turns it on or off in the middle, and then you have one button for the projector and one button for the starry part. The actual cable that connects the head to the pack is a nylon braided sheathing. So it protects the cabling from that. It's really nice. You go ahead and peel this off. So it has a nice shiny reflection space suit. Head does come off and you can swivel it at any angle that you want. So if you want to point it up at the ceiling, point it at the wall, all the above, it's all doable. Now the stand itself can be a little hard the feet do not move, and I'm not sure if they're meant to be that close together. You have to spread them apart a little bit, really kind of yank it in there. It will stay on pretty decently, but if you do give it some good pressure downwards, the feet will pop right out. So it is good, yet also bad at the same time. And again, this is meant to be set on a table or a dresser, bookshelf, point it straight up, and start your projection. And yeah, you can see here that it kind of just falls off if you hold it wrong. So be careful with that. Now we can check out the remote itself. We do have the power button on the top left. And then we have a timer button on the top right. And then you have two separate quadrants of buttons, one for the nebula itself and one for the stars. You do have brightness and speed for both of them that you can control. So you can adjust your liking of the spinny, flashy, swirling nebula or the blinking of the stars going in and out as you choose. Go ahead and get these lights off and check out these projections. So we do have the standard nebula that does rotate colors, look really nice, and we have the stars pulsing out. Now, depending on the remote and your controls, you can again adjust the brightness of the stars here and you can make them brighter or lower. You can then change the 
all around. You can just turn them off if you don't want them. Because it is still a green laser, so do be aware that small children it may not be the greatest thing and can damage eyes. So be sure to understand that that is a laser that is it. For my purposes, I typically just leave it off. I have my little one test it out. And so works great. She loves the help. So here we can change it. We have like a blue, green, red going on here. Just the regular red, regular green, regular blue. And then we get into some combinations. Green and red, blue and green, purple and blue. We have a red and green fade. And then we have all colors used together. And so you typically get, it's a little bit blue on the screen, but you get more of like a whitish color at distance. And then again, with the stars, you can adjust how much you want them to flash. I have it set to none, or you can adjust the brightness by a couple different levels. And again, if you just want to, you can just hold the middle button, or you can hold the button on the back of the dude and just turn them off. I think that's a lot safer for younger children. If you don't have a great place to put it, you guys can always just turn those off so that there's no chance of being seen. But overall, I think these little guys are fantastic. I love that you can just have so many options to go along with it. And coming for someone with a three-year-old, it's definitely three-year-old approved. Loves the pink and purple setting. Can't get enough of it. So if you have kids or even older kids, they just want something cool to look into their room. Definitely something to pick up. Link will be down in the description if you guys want to grab it. It does help the channel out a bit. And again, these are sent over for review. So it definitely would help out for me for some future things that may come my way. If you guys hadn't done it yet, feel free to hit the subscribe button down there. And then also hit a like if you did find this enjoyable. And of course, new videos will be released on a frequent basis. So if you guys hadn't checked any of my other ones out, feel free to. We've got some great headsets and a great keyboard. If you guys want to pick that up and kind of build your own DIY. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys here on the next one.